Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, this week we're going to be taking a look at these babies right here. So if you're new to the channel, again, we take a look at tools. One of those tools is going to be your clothing whatever you wear to the to the work or the field is going to determine or be considered a tool in my category because you do have it on every day and it does make the work life easier for you and for everybody around as well so with that being said guys we're taking a look at the Duluth trading company men's flex fire hose hd relax fit cargo pads yes a bit bit of a long name but if you haven't seen Duluth clothing uh, I do have other videos I'll leave the links above um, Duluth makes super great clothing for the for the trades out there now I will not lie that this they did send me this this work pants right here I'm gonna try them out and see how they are but again I've used Duluth before and of course the videos you've seen previously now these alone are gonna set you back for $79.50 which are not bad at all compared to other work pants sometimes you're gonna find them for a hundred dollars a hundred twenty a hundred fifty depending on what you're going to be using now of course these are going to come in beach nut or gray the beach nut is going to be uh, like a khaki color and and then you're also going to have the standard or the relaxed fit i ended up uh, they ended up sending me the relaxed fit uh so i'm going to go ahead and try these out and as far as the sizes for the waist you're going to have a 30 32 34 36 38 40 42 44 46 and 48 only so just keep that in mind and also for the inseams you're gonna have a 30 32 34 36 this is going to be a 30 by 32 and again i'm gonna try them out and see how they're gonna feel for me now they do have a new fiber and of course the material is going to be 68 percent cotton 29 percent polyester and three percent nylon so for all you welders it is not going to be 100 percent cotton or it's not going to be leather so you're going to have to put something over on top that way you don't burn your pants or catch on fire so just keep that in mind now you are going to have nine pockets let's go ahead and see what we got we open up right here you're going to have one pocket two pocket of course in the front three four on the side you're gonna have let me see here four you're gonna have another one right here uh, this little pocket that's five another one right here this is going to be six back here you're gonna have another one seven eight and inside you're going to have a little technical pocket which is hard to find but you can miss it it's in here and you can see the little velcro and this is going to make it nine so just keep that which is very nice in case you want to put something or not get it dirty i do like it as far as having it now another thing that i do like is these clips um sometimes they do get of a hassle but for the most part i like having them that way nothing slides out if you're on a lift or something you're gonna you're they're gonna come in handy another nice little feature that i like i don't know if my camera could catch it let me see it is like a rustic antique button and they do say dilute but you can see that it's not just a smooth finish it has some texture to it which is very nice i do like the little details another fun thing or great thing to have is going to be a two inch belt loops which of course for all you edc guys conceal carry stuff like that you're gonna have for your i have a inch and a half core belt so it's gonna ride through it just smooth and of course if you have a two inch uh, belt that's gonna fit through it as well very nice little feature on there so that's gonna be it also you're gonna have a nice little wide uh, back belt loop that way it supports a little bit better and of course they have they're gonna have their trademark or or their name and that's gonna be their crouch gusset up here in the front which is gonna allow more space for your for your packages down there so just keep that in mind more more flex and more texture now this is going to claim that it's not going to fade as much and it's going to be more abrasive resistant so we'll go ahead and try it out and see how it is as always guys let me know what y'all think in the comments below and thank you all for the support and watching one tool a week guys <laughs>